What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more My Hero Academia Season 7, Episode 20. Remember, if you guys want that full, uncut version of this reaction, check out that Patreon. Links down below. You guys can also get uncuts and earlies to the other movies, the shows, everything we put on the channel. I'm not gonna waste any more time. My Hero Season 7, Episode 20. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Unga Villa site, exactly where we left off. And that was exactly what he said to Toga as she's watching him be defeated. Uh-oh. We got Jiro, Sue, tied down. We got Uaraka struggling. Now, I know Uaraka and Toga have needed a rematch for a while. And the episode's called A Girl's Ego. Oh, I like how it low-key looks like a tsunami, like legit from all impending sides. No matter who you are, good, evil, it will swallow you up. Okay, Uraraka. Ooh. been a mix of chaos and the rain she saw that you know mm. her ulterior motivations for wanting to just destroy humanity could get interrupt disrupt her pure love for these people you know i get that oh now she has a hostage too i hate that Yeah, also, I don't want to pause it to have, like, a too long of a discussion with you guys, but I've had some discussions, debates with some viewers about Toga specifically over the past few weeks, and I will say my mind has somewhat been opened, not necessarily to her specifically, but just the concept of quirks making people weirder than society deems. Like, if, inherently, if your quirk makes you want to ingest blood and you're a child who doesn't necessarily have a moral conscience of right and wrong... You're going to do some fucked up shit. We, as a humans and as society, need to mentally stabilize her and get her on the right path. Because one, it's not necessarily weird if, you know what I'm saying? Like, it gets a lot deeper than just surface level creepiness, which a lot of people, myself included, said she was. So, I got to give myself a little smack. I got to I gotta get a little deeper in the show, you know? They're allegories for something deep. It's like X-Men and allegory for racism, you know? See, they're trying to correct this behavior and make you normal. Like, don't get me wrong. I still find the fact of craving and wanting to eat and suck someone's blood creepy. That's inherently just, I can't stop that. But I completely understand where society fucks up in her situation and where it went wrong. Like, that could really fuck someone up, you know? To her, it, I don't can't say for sure, but it's like drinking water. You know, I don't know. Oh, that's a horrible thing for a parent to say. Okay. Kamui Woods and Jiro, thank you. Amazing work. Oh. No, I can. I'm not ready for this. No. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Oh, no. Yeah. You need... It's kind of like when you fight with Shinso. You need to have full communication and confidence in which one is your teammates. Right? It goes beyond societal standards and norms. Ain't no good and wrong here, you know? I like that. Sue standing up for Uraraka. Get, cut her a little slack. She's putting in mad work. Give her a chance. Oh, no. Oh, no. Obviously, I don't think Uraraka's gonna die, but just in general, the stomach is one of the last places you want to get stabbed. Quite possibly one of the most dangerous places.
でも今犯されること自体にリスクはない友情じゃないならただの英語だ Idol this episode is a girl's ego What are you supposed to do against that? Like, look at Hawks, Ida, the Endeavor family. Yeah, talking about quirks. The quirk singularity doomsday theory, whatever it's called, yeah. It does make sense when you think about it. Kind of got goosebumps just watching that, bro. It's like we're watching World War Z turned up to 100. Oh, that's a very crazy way to put it. Martial arts fighting an army of twices? I still love when she did gun head martial arts. Both of them are so similar, but also so different in so many ways. It's such a duality between them. U Uaraka, who strives to do nothing but make others happy, and Toga, who, no matter what she does, is sad and can't make anyone happy. Obviously, there's a lot of pent-up emotions that's being let out by both girls right now. Is she doing an AOE huge gravity zero gravity Ura Raka? Oh, the music right now is hitting. <laughs> wow. As their kids reaching out to each other with the blood. Go ahead. Oh. That's such a, a real one. Uraraka. I like how she said earlier the whole world's gonna change based off Toga, one girl, and the world's gonna be saved by one girl. Also, just a major shout out to Camwe Woods from literally episode one. He's been a legend. <laughs> Same thing with the wild pussycats. They've been there since season three, man. To touch the sadness inside you. It's really not even touching you. It's touching an inner, touching your soul. Touch your heart, you know? W Uraraka. I just love her saying it. Everything flashes in her mind a split second. As the societal image of such a monstrous toga is stopped by an innocent Uaraka reaching her hand out, I'll let you suck my blood. See, that's an interesting way to put it. I can't blame her for the way her quirk makes her feel, you know? Let it out, girly. This is crazy. Oh. As they're falling back in their children forms. That's so sad. I'm glad I had the debates with the commenters and opened my mind to Toga. Get a hug. There's so much emotional depth going on. I know. It makes me really want to say, like, an official RIP to Jinbu Baigawara twice. Even well beyond your death, your impact has so crazy on the story.
That is such a W response from Uraraka. The first time Toka's ever actually truly heard that and meant it. That episode went by so fast. Oh my lord. Just first off, absolutely spectacular episode. Absolutely wonderful. I am so glad the entirety of the focus was on Uaraka and Toga, and it still went by in half a second. It felt like one of the fastest episodes this season. But it's crazy to think that one, we're going to end this season on what has to be a cliffhanger. We're still in the middle of the climax. We're at the next episode's the finale of the season. Two, we're ending it on what I assume is going to be Iron Might versus All for One. Like, I assumed Iron Might was going to be somewhat of a spectacle because of how confidently he said, I am here and this, that, and the third. Um, but All for One is still a demon. So this should be a crazy fight. I don't know if All for One or All Might is going to need assistance. I don't have any predictions when it comes to that. I just loved everything with Uraraka and Toga this episode. It really does. There's already societal expectations that change the way we look at life, live our life, this, that, and a third. And that's not to mention an inherent bodily power in you that can alter physically, hormonally, mentally. What You know what I'm saying? Like, I think this is a... I love stories like this that make it more accessible these sort of social commentary issues to people like i say i always really enjoyed and you don't really notice it until you become a teenager into an adult like i loved x-men growing up but once you become an adult and you realize wow x-men is all about racism and discrimination you're like and you know like i i thoroughly enjoy that more because you can get a surface level enjoyment out of this just by watching a great girl fight here with some cool powers some power ups to set in the third you can also get some cool character moments by individually be investing individually being invested into these characters but you also just get a perspective in a societal change at all like just in general like if someone's born a certain way we shouldn't hold our already pre-founded you know ideals and beliefs necessarily on every you know what i'm saying it's like it gets deep we could have a two hour long debate about this all day but great episode this is interesting this is very interesting because dabby was one of those where talk no jutsu would not work on him we needed to physically not kill him but end him or, you know stop that threat physically whereas toga don't get me wrong she was still a very physical threat but now i'm like is she just gonna be i could totally see her being in one of those scenarios where she does get re you know we have to work on ourselves to help her out but we need to get rid of our biases you know what i'm saying like she could be talking no jutsu and i'm cool with that i'm cool with some not being talking no jutsu tomura dabby and some being talking no jutsu like i could see twice being talking no jutsu had him and hawks actually worked out and had the parent you know what i'm saying like i like characters that have differences between them w episode loved it hopefully you guys did as well check out that patreon for the full uncut versions all that um don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them do a good deed today never know when you might be born with a crazy quirk. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.